What is going on ladies and gentlemen, Monkey Flop here and today I wanted to go over the PlayStation 4 Lite Bar. Now I've been getting this question from time to time, I decided to go ahead and make a video. I'll throw it up on my tutorials uh, playlist so if you guys have any questions about anything else, um, go check my tutorial list. If something's missing then definitely hit me up in the comment section below uh, i always like to see constructive criticism and advice on hey monkey flop it would be nice if you showed us how to do this or what about this um so i really appreciate the comments like that as well anyways let's get right into the video so a lot of people ask monkey flop what are the lights for why did why do they have the light um there and can i change it so First question I'm going to answer is no, unfortunately you cannot change the lights or make it uh, do different colors or, or anything crazy or cool like that. The reason why the light bar is there to indicate to you if the power's on, if the power's off, if the power's asleep, and if it is overheating. So we're actually going to be going through each of them right now. And I'm also going to be showing you how to turn off uh, your PlayStation 4 the proper way. Some people know this already, some people don't. So let's get right into the colors indicated. So the first color indicated is the blue color. The blue color is that the PlayStation 4 is simply turning on. Once the PlayStation turns on fully, you'll see a white light across the system. And then that means you're good, you're good to go. Um, orange means it's on standby mode. If it's blinking red, then you're in big trouble. Um, I'll show a picture, as you guys are seeing on the screen right now. That is what it looks like if it's blinking red. Um, and you that means you're overheating, you're overheating your PlayStation 4. There's a couple of things that I recommend is one, if you can get a vertical stand it's so much better um, it will help out with ventilation so much um, I have it on a vertical stand and ever since I put it on a vertical stand I haven't had any issues with it the PlayStation 4 generally doesn't overheat but I recommend that you do not put it in a small cavity or uh, something that's enclosed or it's up against a wall. You, you need to have a little bit of space, a little bit of breathing room, so that way um, your system can ventilate the proper way, the way that it's meant to be. So now what I'm actually gonna be doing is showing you guys how to turn off your PlayStation 4 the proper way. Now, you can enter into rest mode, and I definitely recommend doing this if you play your PlayStation 4 constantly. Keep in mind this will consume some of the place of the power um, so if it's basically like leaving your PlayStation 4 on um, but it's in standby mode just like if you were to leave your uh, computer in standby mode so if you enter rest mode you'll still get all the updates you'll still get all the game updates um, as long as you have them set to update automatically um, this is what I do all the time now for whatever reason if you need to reset your PlayStation 4 you could just go here um, I recommend actually doing it from the the PlayStation button on your controller and going to the quick menu and then power options and then restart your PlayStation 4 if for whatever reason you need to restart your PlayStation 4 and the the controller is not working what you're gonna want to do is hold down on the power button uh, sensor on the front of your console there's two power but there's two buttons on the front of your console right next to the light bar the first one closest to the light bar is the power button the one the farthest away on the other side of the, your disk drive is the eject button now if you need to reset your system at all just simply hold that until it powers off completely I don't recommend unplugging it from the wall um, that would be the absolutely last result if anything else, if everything else fails, then I, I definitely don't recommend unplugging it from the power because you can have damage to it. Um, I do recommend if you live in an area for whatever reason has power surges or has power outages from time to time. Um, I know where I live. I During the summertime, there was a couple of power surges and I was like, you know what? If I'm not playing my PlayStation 4, I'm turning it off because as you guys know, 
if you don't turn your power uh, off and you have it in rest mode it's in standby mode if there's a power surge or something happens then it could damage your PlayStation 4 permanently and that would really suck um, so I hope I answered everybody's questions I definitely recommend um, doing the power this way you can hold the the sensor button on the PlayStation 4 but I don't recommend it I recommend just going into the quick menu power options enter rest mode or you can just simply enter rest mode or go into the power options and then turn off your PlayStation 4 if for whatever reason you need to restart your PlayStation 4 then you can do so to be completely honest with you whoa why am I in themes okay cool uh, to be completely honest with you guys it is rare for me to have to restart my PlayStation 4. I've had my PlayStation 4 since a couple of months after launch date and my PlayStation 4 has never really had to restart. I've had to restart applications and I had to restart uh, games. So in case you guys are, aren't familiar with that um, and you want to restart a game, just hold down on the PlayStation button and it will come up for you. The option to close the application just close the application and then go right back into the game um, I hope this answered everybody's questions the people that were wondering what the PlayStation 4 light bar was for I hope um, I explained it very good and clear let me know if you have any questions in the comment section below if you would take two seconds out of your day hit a like that really helps me out if you haven't already subscribed that would be awesome as well and I get the question all the time yes you can add me on my uh, PlayStation Network account, PSN, Monkey Flop. I'll show you guys really quickly because everybody always asks, is it Monkey Flop or is it, oh wait, I'm going to trophies. Okay, um, as you guys can see here, um, if it loads, okay, Monkey Flop's gone. Oh no, I was just kidding. There you go. <laughs> um, so yeah, you can add me. I still have about 600 slots available so feel free to add me if you want i always love reading uh notes whenever you guys send me notes those are always awesome as well anyways i'll see you guys in the next news update